everybody i'm back today i know i've been gone a little while i've been going through so much i mean not good not bad stuff good stuff um we'll get into that in another video um i'll probably do a get to know me video so you guys can get to know me though right but um yeah i've been blessed lately it's been a lot going on in my life and i have truly been just like overwhelmed with a lot of things that's been going on so i will do an update video on a get to know me and um meet my family type video so you guys can kind of get to know who this girl is behind this camera that's um always doing all this hair stuff okay so let's get to it so obviously you see i don't have any hair on which means this is a another wig review um this wig i have comes from the fifth avenue collection it is the um vanessa line um the name of this wig is miko m-i-k-o and i got her in a 1b so that is the name of it now i'm trying something different i'm going a little shorter than what i'm used to this just comes wrapped in the wig comes wrapped on this um something a little shorter than what i'm used to you know usually i do a lot of long hair that is really big and curly i still went with the curly hair but i'm going a lot shorter because it is so hot out here that everything that i do and wear the hair is like sticking on the back of my neck and i'm sweating and i'm just i am so hot like this is not good for me boo like i can't be sweating that's not cute that don't even go with my outfit like no so we're gonna keep going with some short hair um i'm gonna do a couple of more reviews but it's not gonna be on curly hair i'm gonna tend to start i'm gonna try to start doing a little bit more um different reviews on different types of hair i know i always tend to go towards the curly and the long but i will tend to get into some colors now and go more of the bobs and short hairs and um, if you guys have anything that you've seen that you're kind of scared to try and would like me to review, I will be more than happy to review them for you and um, try out some new colors. Um, leave me some comments and things of what you guys might want me to do, something that you might want to see me try just in case you guys don't like it, you know, so... I'm more than willing to try anything once I'm that type of girl. Yes. I mean, you know, when it comes to hair. So, <laughs> so I'm going to show you this girl. So, like I said, her name is, she's from the Vanessa line. Her name is Miko. She is a 1B. This is what her tag looks like when she comes in a straight one. This is the tag in the curly one, which I have the curly one. Um... Let's see what you can do to her. Just gives you the wash instructions. Of course, always wash in my water. Wash in a bucket or wash over the shower. Um, I'm not sure if it can take heat. It doesn't tell me if it can or not. I would not think so. And I wouldn't put heat on, um, on this anyways. Like, this is just not the kind of hair that you're going to want to put some heat on. So, I mean... It's up to you, boo. You know, do what you think is best for you. But I would not put heat on this hair. Just giving you my personal opinion. Um, I don't see anything that tells me whether I can use heat or not. So I'm just going to say, uh, nah. Okay? So, I mean, if you need to rewind a couple of the curls, I'm pretty sure maybe you can do it on low. Or maybe you can use some flexi rods. That'll probably be your best bet if you want to i'm trying to rip these tags off y'all they got these tags tied on here like weird not like they used to so this hair was let's see what the price was on here this hair was 37 37.99 plus tax so of course it came to like 41 42 bucks or whatever it was um all right so this is her she looks like a little poodle She's very short. Let me get out of the camera a little. She's very short. The curliness of the hair is like a like a spiral curl. So, and she's not very big at all. The inside, this is what it looks like. It says Vanessa on the cap. Now, one thing about this one is 
This is not a like half wig. This is actually a full wig. It's meant to be worn. So there is no combs or anything. The tag is back here. It's from Vanessa. And then you have the adjustable straps. And that's it. I do like that the inside is thicker. If I wanted to add some tracks or do something like that to it, that it would work. But I do not like that it doesn't have combs in case I want to wear this in a bun or if I want to turn this into a half wig. You know, there's nothing that's going to stop me from looking crazy in public if the wind blows too hard and my big old cap falls off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't be just walk around looking like this. You know what I'm saying? So if my hair falls off, you know, girl, I'm suing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I don't want, you know, something that doesn't have combs. So eventually later what I might do is take some combs and sew some in myself. Just because it has a little more security. And I'm a lot more secure when I have a comb. You know, something holding me back, you know. I need these combs to hold me back, for real. So I'm just going to pop her on so we can get an initial look at what she looks like before I get to messing. See? See what happens? You just fall off? No, I'm just kidding. I dropped it, y'all. I didn't fall off my head. I dropped it. There's, the cap is pretty snug. So you, as you can see, all my hair is wrapped up and I have this thing on. So it's a pretty snug cap. Let's make sure I have it on right So, let me scoot down a little bit so you guys can see. Let's um, push it over so I stop looking like Krusty the Clown. So, as you can see right now, I have her on as a full wig. So, let's pop some of these curls out a little bit. I'm getting a little bit of shedding initially already. Just a little um the hair texture is okay it's not super soft um this is her as a full wig you know of course you can rock like the bang look when it comes to this if you would like you know some bangs do it this way and maybe cut it so she's short i like it because it's hot out here and it's not on my neck so if you would like you can definitely cut some of these off right here you know make it a little shorter maybe like let's pull it up a little maybe like this give yourself like a full bang and you don't have to leave any hair out now of course you guys know that this is not what i'm gonna do so if you stretch her out she's pretty long eventually you know it'll go down but course you know this is not how I'm about to rock this so we're gonna pull this up I'm gonna create a part right here pull the wig see I don't have any hair out so what I'm gonna do is pull it back a little I'm going to maneuver the curls the other way because I want it to get a little bigger. So I'm not going to use a comb or brush. Just going to finger puff this. So I'm getting a little bit of shedding. I guess that's what you get for like a synthetic wig, right? So this side's a little smaller. I... So it almost reminds me of almost like the A-line. It's a little longer here than it is in the back. It's a lot shorter back here. Let me see if I could turn around. So, and she has some bounce to her too. It reminds me of a girl with natural hair. Maybe we could pull some of this back. So, let me scoot back a little. I'm just trying to mess with her to see what kind of, what I would want to do with her. I do really like it though. I think it is super cute. It's super me. So 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of my edges right here out just to just in case the wind blows back. I don't want the wig part showing, you know, let's take a little bit of this out. Now, if you do not want to wear this as a full wig, you can definitely pull some of your edges out, use some flexi rods and curl your hair to this, this exact curl pattern, the exact way that it looks. So that's how that looks for now. And then um, this right here is a synthetic wig spray. Let's see if you can get that. It says synthetic wig. It's a spray. It was only $2.99. I think the bigger bottle cost maybe like $8.99, I want to say. Um, it's a synthetic leave-in conditioner spray. And it smells amazing. It smells like almost like a mince cologne like don't spray this on you girl if you got a boyfriend he'd be like uh, girl what what is that that you smell like um you know they ain't gonna believe that it's your hair so <laughs> but it does it smells like a mince cologne it's really really nice it gives your hair if you have like a wig like a dry wig this gives it a little bit of shine but not a shine to where it looks like a synthetic wig and it gives your hair a little bit more softness This hair has a lot of body. I love it. All right, so let's tackle this front real quick. So, of course, I'm going to use my Olive Oil RS Edge Control. Um, I think I'm going to be switching to the Hicks Edge Control a little bit just to see, get a feel of what it does. I've heard great reviews on the Hicks Edge Control. And I really want to try it. So, as you can see, I'm just using a little bit. It's not too much. It's just a tiny bit. I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to spray a little bit of this spray on here only because I left my water bottle in the bathroom and I like to add a little moisture when I use edge control because edge control tends to flake after a while if I don't put any moisture on with this. So I'm just going to brush this down onto the hair. So... I know you guys can't see it yet. Give me one second. I'm looking in the mirror while I do this. So, I'm really liking it. So, we're going to pull this down and pull it over here. So, it's kind of cute. I kind of like it. It's different. I'm not used to having short hair. And I'm really loving it. So, there, all I did is parted it with my hand and created a part right there. And take my hair and blend it in, spray a little water on it, and it'll blend right on in. So, we don't want this top part to be so big. So, we're going to hold down some of it and push some of these curls to the back. There. So now this part won't be so huge. I'm really in love. You can even take like a little bit of your hair and hold it down and do a twist and like pin it back. I'm really liking it. Feeling it. I'm feeling it. So this would be probably my final result is not much I would actually do to it maybe cut a little bit right here just so it's a little tiny tiny bit shorter so that it doesn't mess with my eyes too much but I really like it guys that's cute I will definitely look this up online to let you guys know where you guys can get this at online because I bought this at my local beauty store um I wanted to go in there and see what they have and I don't usually shop in store to get my hair because I don't like having the same hair as everyone else and a lot of the times they don't have the kind of hair that I like and tend to go for so I tend to always want to shop online for my hair and it works for me so this hair I will definitely look it up online to see if they have it 
If not, I'll put the store name and their number and you're welcome to call and order from them. I'm pretty sure they have no problem shipping this out. If not, let me know if you want this hair and I will order it for you and you can just give me your information and we can kind of go from there. But I will definitely order it for you if you want it and you cannot find it where you are. But I definitely love it. Definitely. I'm kind of in love with it. Like really. So... And you can turn this back too. You guys don't have to do. See, I'm so used to doing the similar and same thing I always do. You don't have to do that. You can push this back and just wear her. Like, like what? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just really like my, it's just like, this is just my style. It's just what I like to do. I like one side to be big. I like the hair in the face. Let's push some of that back. I don't look like a little poodle. But yeah, this is definitely more of my style. Let's pull this little piece back. So, this is it, guys. I'm really liking it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let's put a little bit of that behind my ear. There we go. So this is her. Tell me what you guys think. Leave me some comments. And um, I'll definitely, you guys know, of course, I'll post some pictures so you guys can get a full, really good look at how this looks on me. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you guys like it. I will be doing another review on another wig. Probably right after this video, I'm going to just go ahead and record it. Um... And coming soon, I'm going to do a video with me and my girlfriend. We're going to do a um, what's in your mouth tag. So stay tuned for that. And I also have a giveaway coming up. I'm not sure exactly what. I have a lot of stuff in this giveaway because I've been saving. Every time that I go out and go shopping, I put add something else into the boxes. There's a lot of stuff in there. I got a little bit of Victoria's Secret in there. Um, Set of fill. if you guys are familiar with that, is what a lot of people use on YouTube to remove their makeup. Um, I have a really big package of that coming in. Um, I've also ordered a few jewelry items and um, tube socks because I'm a tube sock lover and a lot, lots of stuff. So I'm trying to make it to my 500 subscribers and once I do that, I will definitely, definitely, definitely be doing a um, really big subscriber giveaway. So stay tuned for that too. And thank you guys for everyone that is supporting me and doing what I do. I do it because I want to and because I feel like this can help someone. Every time I go out, everyone's like, who did your hair? How was it done? Who does your sew-ins? And it's like, girl, is that a wig? Is that a wig or nah? I'd be like, yeah, girl, no. Nah. <laughs> and then sometimes I'd be like, nah, girl, this is mine. I got a receipt for it, right, boo? <laughs> but I really appreciate everyone that's supporting me. All the comments and everything you guys do. I read every comment and I try to reply to everything you guys ask me and say on my Facebook. Follow me on Facebook at um, Hair by Banks. Or you can follow my personal Facebook. It's Jacquees Banks. You can follow me on Instagram at Dark and Lovely. I'll make sure I put all that stuff down below. Um, I have a Twitter, I have a Tumblr, um, I'm also new to the blogging industry, so I will do start doing blogs, um, I am partnered with Style Haul, so I will start doing more Style Haul videos, also, um, I've actually got some invitations to be partnered up with a couple other websites, so stay tuned, there's some big things in store, God is really working in my life right now, so I appreciate it, and I'm going to continue to just follow what God is having me do, so... God bless, guys. Talk to you later.